here with us for a look at those. I'm not going to ask you about your first CD. I am going to stick to the papers. Uh, we're looking, of course, at this uh, very shocking news that's come out of Tunisia, some reactions from around the world. Well, I want to concentrate more on uh, the Arab world and their reaction, and starting out with a couple of cartoons, Catherine. One uh, spotted in the Jordanian paper, Al Hrad, which there shows a wave of blood. If you look closely, you can see that on that wave of blood there is the Tunisian flag, and um, a jihadist fighter is there uh, looking on. Let's go to another paper, this time in Algeria, El Watan, which is ha has this cartoon, not Je suis Charlie, but Je suis Tunisie. I am Tunisia. And that's uh, reflecting a lot of the mood we've seen in the press across the board this morning um, after the events of Wednesday with um, really a desire to express solidarity with the events in Paris in January and the Charlie Hebdo attacks and what's happening now uh, in, in Tunisia, seen as part of a series of horrific terror attacks. And you've got uh, a newspaper from Tunisia uh, which says it has a bit of inside information uh, on what these attacks were targeting. Well, this paper is called Alik Baria, and um, it's saying that it has a scoop. It's uh, citing security sources, saying that the attackers, in fact, were initially intent of, on targeting the Speaker of the Tunisian Parliament, Mohamed Enasur, which you can see him there in the picture. Now, he had, in recent days, Catherine, called for the creation of a special fund to fight terrorism. Guards spotted two men in army uniform, but not with the weapons that are usually uh, army issue uh, outside the parliament. That, they raised the alarm. Um, the, attack, the attack then meant for the parliament, but then went to the um, um, Bardo Museum, as we know. Um, the parliament, of course, debating anti-terror legislation, uh, as that all happened. So that's the scoop for that paper. I want to look at another Tunisian paper, uh, which is saying that what we need now is national unity in Tunisia. Um, but there also has to be some accountability, Catherine. Uh, the quote there is that it is fine to fight the cowardly, bearded fanatics who look like they've come out of some kind of machine, uh, fine, to, fine to prom promise anti-terrorist legislation, which never gets enacted. But, it says, it's also important to address the root cause of the problem and establish how the jihadist scourge uh, came to Tunisia. That's the take for that paper. And I just want to end on the Huffington Post, uh, which has a French edition, American edition, but um, also a Maghreb edition. This is a, a comment piece in that uh, paper saying that it is time for for, as I said earlier, solidarity with Tunisia in the style of the Charlie Hebdo attacks. And the woman who has written that is a Franco-Tunisian documentary filmmaker, Nadia Elfani, who says, some people are killing like they speak, as if being human was no longer of any value. Um, she says, their aim is to create a caliphate. Cal caliphate. Our aim must be to defend uh, republican values, liberty, equality, fraternity. So uh, lots of powerful stuff about the Tunis attack, um, which, as we know, is a series of horrific events. All right, great. Thanks very much for bringing us that roundup of uh, the reaction uh, from mainly the Arabic-speaking press. Thank you. Nick Rushworth there.